Hey everybody, just want to give you a demonstration of how this works and how the, how the whole Roto Smile Lock system works. Um, we have your Smile key here. This is the component that, or the tool that's going to be able to allow you to remove your implant crown or your implant prosthetics. Um, you will have your Smile Lock here, which is the main component of what Roto is all about. It's gonna lock onto your abutment and then your crown, your prosthetics is gonna lock onto that. And then you have your um, roto abutment, which is engaged onto the model here on lab analog. And uh, we're just gonna show you how we're gonna do this today. Step one. So it is important that um, to check everything, in my opinion, is to check everything uh, on a model first, outside the mouth, just to make sure everything is aligned perfectly. Um, we have this um, beautiful implant crown, roto crown, uh, made from Arm Dental Lab. And you wanna make sure that the seating onto the roto abutment correctly, in this case. Um, you also wanna make sure that the uh, clusal contacts is good, your interproximal contact is good. Because if it's not aligned perfectly, it will affect the seating in the mouth and sometimes it'll feel like it's not going to engage correctly. And part of that sometimes it could be just these little small details we ignored and you just have to pay attention to that. Assuming then everything is good, um, you can see that the road abutments are already in place. You just want to make sure that it's uh, snugly fit onto the uh, analog. Now in the mouth, of course, you're going to torque it down. In this case, I'm using a straw my bone level implant and the specification of the torque specification of this for this is gonna be 35 Newton centimeters. Um, if you are using different uh, brands or implant brands, uh, please check with the manufacturer in regards to what the torque specs is. But in this case, like I said, it's 35 Newton centimeters. So then the next thing I will be doing is I'm gonna pick up my small lock and you can see me actually engaging. I'm picking up with a pair of uh, cotton pliers. I'm gonna engage it into the roto abutment push it down my fingers. You do need to make sure that the small lock is seating all the way down because you'll see a little call in the tip of that button. You need to make sure that it seats over that. And once that's in place, then uh, all you need to do is really, if you think about it, it's just snap on. Um, and you can see the internal aspect of that coping. And you can see how basically the small lock locks onto the internal aspect of the crown. What I'm going to do now is, since the small lock is in place, I'm going to push it down. And then sometimes you hear a clip, sometimes you won't. And once you put it in place, and what I'll typically do is I'll get the patient to bite down on a bite stick, for example, several times. And then after that, then it's ready to go. Everything is snug and I can't get it out. If you need to remove the implant crown, uh, or your prosthetics, then um, all you need to do is to use your small key and all you need to do is just activate it and wave it. Think of it as waving a wand. Um, and in this example, we'll be waving on the buckle aspect of it for around four seconds and then on the lingo aspect, four seconds. And then um, after that, then it should come out. Okay. And then on the lingo aspects of it, for around four seconds. And you can see sometimes in certain instance, you can feel like there's a wig on it and it's not fully like unlocked yet. And what you might need to do sometimes is that you might need to wave it again for around maybe four seconds on the buckle again. And then four seconds on the lingo again. And then it comes off. Now, one of the things that you have to pay attention is that this, in this crown, this is a pretty tall crown, and you have to sometimes visualize where the, the where the coping is going to be, and why that is important. The important thing is that sometimes if you aim it too high, you're not really aiming at the coping. So in this case, you have to aim a little bit lower where the coping is. That's where it's going to actually deactivate the smile lock. So you have to pay attention to these little details, but like I said, sometimes if it doesn't fully come out, 
Don't freak out. All you need to do again is maybe do the buckle again, lingo again for four seconds. And in this example, it came off.